want to keep this little guy. He's so freaking cute, huh? Okay. Get a little, yeah, terrarium. Get a little terrarium. Listen to that rain. I've been taking it to the shop for a minute. I'm shivering, so I'm sorry. The, excuse me, the camera's shaking. Um, first of all, this video is about um, how to change this blade right here. It, it'll pretty much work on any um, circular saw, what I'm going to teach you. But uh, I'm not sponsored by Ryobi, and I'm not sponsored by Home, De Home Depot, but... Stop complaining. I'm gonna do this video real quick. Um, what happened was, so I was in Home Depot and they're having the sale. You buy the battery packs, basically you get the, the tool for free. Really, really good deal. Um, it's the only way I could afford it right now. And I needed the circular saw. There's a couple of cuts I've gotta make that I'll show you later, but that's not what this video is about. Shop's a mess. I am in full beast mode right now. I'm trying to get everything done. So, um, forgive the mess. But I need someplace uh, to talk where it was quiet, except for now Cooper's complaining about being out here in the cold. It's cold. It's 42 degrees. I'm shivering. Right, buddy? It's cold. So anyways, uh, at Home Depot, found out about this deal and Decided to get, I needed, I was going to buy one. I was going to buy one with a cord. And, um, at, you know, Walmart or something, you know, my usual cheapy. But I love Ryobi. I mean, if you guys saw the, I did the unbox of that Ryobi. And, and uh, I got the Ryobi Sandra over here. I'm in love, I'm in love with Ryobi right now. I, I think it's a really good tool for tools for the price. I mean, it cuts like a dream. Look at this. Look at these cuts. We're really, really impressed with the saw. Anyways, um, back to what I was saying. Change the subjects a lot. You know I do that. Um, so this woman was talking about the deal, and we were all talking about the deal with the, cash, the cashier and how great it was. And she said the only problem is that she doesn't know how to change the blade, and she wants to put a different blade in there, which is what I did. I put this... Um, Finish wood, uh, plywood, plywood blade in there, other than the one they gave. They do come with a blade. Um, she said, I don't know how to change the blade. And I was trying to explain it to her, and she gave me that look of, oh, what? What are you talking about? You know, and it's, it's hard to explain something like that verbally. So I decided to make a video. Um, hey, hey, relax. I'm almost done. Jeepers, creepers. 
Let me finish, okay? Let me finish. <laughs> um, so I decided to make a video of how to do it. The video actually, from I think if I remember correctly, it's only like four minutes long. Actually, the introduction will be longer. You know, I always give a long introduction. <laughs> it's just my style, people. Um, yeah, so if you follow these simple uh, directions, you will easily change the saw blade. It's not hard. I mean, the way this thing is designed, most of them are designed this way too, is they have a locking mechanism. The old days, you had to use a screwdriver, and you had to clamp it down, you had two different wrenches. But nowadays, I just got this great little button right here you depress, and it locks this mechanism in place so that you can unscrew it, unscrew the um, bolt right there. Makes it really simple, really easy to do. So anyways, uh, I hope the video helps some people out, and I hope that lady um, <laughs> finds my channel and, and sees how to change the blade, and I hope it helps her. All right, yeah, we're going to go in now. Um, where's that box to the, I already threw it away. I need a um, picture for the thumbnail. Oh my gosh, I'm freezing. I want to show you the table real quick. Look at this table. Don't look at the mess. Look at the table. Look at that. Oh, I took it off. So the tent, the tent pole, I was calling it a tent pole. The table pole came in. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Except for the sawdust everywhere. I love it. Look, I love it. I'm building the, uh, the, the piece that holds the, the table in. I got another, ouch, man, I put myself in the face. The other table's over there. So I'm building right here this is the underbelly to attach the, the stand for the, for the table pole. All right, guys. I love you all. Be good to each other. Um, keep subscribing and, and keep joining me on these adventures. And um, pretty soon, within you know a month and a half, I think we'll be taking off on our uh, on our tour tour of America with the beautiful camper. I mean, I'm, I'm getting close to being done. All right, buddy, we're going in, guys. I love you all. Uh, happy Memorial Day. Uh, remember those that. Uh, Sacrifice their bodies and remember those mostly who sacrifice their lives. Never forget their sacrifice. In fact, live a life that shows your appreciation and be patriotic. Love America. All right, buddy, let's go. All right, so we had music going on in the shop. YouTube issues with copyright, so we will just have to dub over everything. Right now I am showing you that the power supply has been disconnected. Don't ever change a blade with the power supply intact. Next I am showing you where the Allen wrench is kept. You need the Allen wrench to change the saw blade. On the back of the saw you will see a gray button. You depress that button to lock the spindle mechanism so that the blade won't rotate. Now there's no blade in there right now but if there was a blade you'd want to depress that and lock it. And then untwist, unrotate, however you want to say, unscrew that bolt. Make sure that you do it the right way. <laughs> I always forget, well, dyslexia, of course, but I always do things backwards. You basically want to, instead of righty tighty, lefty loosey, you do it opposite for uh, the saw blades, any saw blade, in fact. Um, they're going to want you to turn it the opposite way because you don't want the screw coming loose as the saw rotates. It was in there really tight, by the way. So tight that I'm confused right now as which way I'm supposed to turn it. There you go. Good job. What a tool. So you're going to remove that um, Allen wrench bolt and then remove the washer, the locking washer there as well. Once that's removed, you're going to pull back the guard. Hold it in position with your thumb. You don't, you don't have to press the button anymore. I'm not pressing the button anymore. You can press that later. Oh, first you got to remove the saw from the packaging. And I forgot to take the sticker off at the back. You notice that? But uh, I'll do that later. What I was showing you right there was the arrow indicates which direction the saw blade needs to be going. Okay? 
So that one on the uh, shield of the or the guard is pointing up, telling you that the blade rotates up, rotates up. So you want to make sure this blade has the arrow going the same way. I've had saw blades where you actually have to turn the thing over and match up the arrows. So it's not uncommon to make sure that the arrows are going the same way. If you don't want to do it backwards, it'll mess up your blade and your cuts. Well, try not to drop the screw. Put the screw back in and remember to tighten it, you have to loosen. Go in the direction of loosening anti-clockwise. Is that how you say anti-clockwise? Unclockwise? <laughs> Opposite of clockwise. Uh, you can just hand tighten it for now, and then you're going to press that gray button again, and it will lock the mechanism. Yep, they can see it, Terry. Keep going, keep going. Put the Allen wrench in there, and remember to turn it the right way. To tighten it. You got Actually, has a little arrow on the washer that tells you which way to tighten it. And I make sure I crank down that, make sure it's nice and snug. Always put the Allen wrench back where it goes. Otherwise, you will lose it, and you'll be like, where'd it go? I don't know where it is. Now, when everything's done, and your hands are away from the trigger, see, no fingers on the triggers, you can go ahead and attach the... Well, I'm just showing you that it works right there. You can go ahead and attach the battery, or the power supply. And that will pretty much show you how to um, change the blade on any circular saw. It's pretty much the same in all of them now. Thanks, guys, for watching. Have a great day. Love you all. Bye.